Now, the, what I'd like to talk about is what I call the 10 most dangerous things uh, people say about stocks. Uh, uh, here's a good one. If it's gone down this much already, it can't go any lower. Uh, I remember when Polaroid went from 140 to about 107, and people said, if you ever get Polaroid under 100, you've got to buy it. You just back up the truck, buy the stock. You know. uh, stock could get to 110, then rally, you know, fall 103, you go 112, you go 105. They said, gets under 100, buy Polaroid. Polaroid broke 100, people started buying it, and within nine months, the stock was 18. Uh, I saw the same thing with Avon products. So just saying, you, you know, it's gone down this far, you know, how much lower? I mean, it's crazy, but, you know, it can keep going. In fact, I tried this out. Kaiser Industries, I was a new analyst at Fidelity, and we were about to buy the biggest block ever at Kaiser Industries. The stock had gone from 29 to 17. We we're about to buy the largest block ever in the history of the American Stock Exchange. We bought, I don't know, 10 or 15 million shares. At 15 and three quarters, I said, my God, the stock's gone from 29 to 17. How much lower can it go? So we bought this enormous block at 15 and three quarters. So I called my mother and I said, Mom, I guess I got Kaiser Industries, it's 10. So about three months later, I said, you ought to buy this. It's gone from 29 to 10. How much lower can it go? Well, it went to 9, it went to 8, it went to 7, it went to 6, it went to 5, it went to 4. Now, fortunately for me, this happened very rapidly, or I'd be working at the stop and shop uh, bag and behind the lines at of Fidelity. So fortunately, this was compressed in only about six months. So I had to go to the fund manager and say, I was a little bit early on this at 15 and 3 quarters. At, uh, <laughs> but it, uh, we call this premature in the business. The, uh, uh, I had a correction, which you know is a euphemism for losing a lot of money rapidly. At the, uh, uh, so I said, let's check this again. The stock's four. They own 45% of Kaiser Aluminum. They own 59% of Kaiser Steel. They own 38% of Kaiser Cement. They own all of Kaiser Electronics, all of Kaiser Broadcasting, which had seven TV sets. They own Jeep. They had Kaiser Fiberglass. They had about Kaiser Santa Gravel. They had a bunch of other Kaisers. And they had no debt. Now, in this room, because I know Freeman Billings is very interested in financial stocks, no one's ever gone bankrupt without any debt. Now, that would take a real, I think you have to give some kind of distinguished service award to somebody who did that. <laughs> the, uh, but they had no debt. I said, it's not going to go to zero. You know, I was wrong when I said it can't go below 15. So we hung on, and within three years, they gave out the shares in Kaiser Steel, gave out the shares in Kaiser Cement, gave out the shares in Kaiser Steel and Aluminum, and they sold off all the businesses. You got about $55 a share. But if you didn't know the story, and the stock went from 15 to 11, and you're just saying, how much lower can it go? When it went to 9, went to 8, you'd, you would have gone. So you can't just say it can't go any lower, because I saw Taco Bell go from 14 to 1 in 1974, and they had no debt and making 60 cents a share. Uh, there's a corollary to that that's even more dangerous. If it's gone this high already, how can it possibly go lower? Uh, higher, sorry. That. Philip Morris, adjusted for splits, uh, sold for 12 cents in 1951. And then it goes to 60 cents in 1961. So it goes up fivefold, and you say to yourself, how much, this, it never sold for that, but just for splits, you say, how much higher can this go? It's gone up fivefold. They missed the power of Marlboro. They missed the, there's 220 countries in the world. They missed the cash flow of the company. They missed everything. This stock was a hundred bagger after going up fivefold. But people sold it just saying, how much higher can it go? It can't go any higher. They did the same at Home Depot. They did the same with Toys R Us. I did the same thing at Toys R Us. Just saying it can't go any higher. It's gone this much already. That's very dangerous, and don't, don't use that one. And uh, I, it's a very bad thing to do.